Oh, hello there. Long time no talk. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the full self-driving beta version 10.11.2 through the narrow hills of Berkeley, California. And as you may have noticed, I've also been experimenting with this new camera view. Kind of a video gamey third person perspective, which I think looks super cool. But after working with the footage a bit, I think you may actually lose some perspective about what's going on directly in front of the car, which is probably pretty important, I think. Um, and while you do gain more perspective about what's going on on the outside, I'm not sure if the trade-off is worth it, and I think my next videos will probably go back to using my original layout, and I'll keep this view in my back pocket for special use cases. But feedback on this stuff is always super welcome, and I'm always interested in what you guys think looks the best and gives you the most detail about what's going on. If you guys love it, I will continue to do it, even if it is a bit of a pain. Enough of that though, let's dive into how this version of the full self-driving beta performs in Berkeley. In a word, it is confident. Very confident. Overly confident, even. It has these hold my beer kind of moments where it tries to tackle some really crazy situations and gets so close to stuff, it is actually unbelievable. We are probably a few inches away from this barrier to give room to the other cars and FSD is driving like it's just no big deal. But those moves do not always work out. In this clip, we have a pedestrian walking ahead and a car stopped in the middle of the road. Probably a situation I'd stop for and wait to analyze a situation, but FSD goes in guns blazing, full on Rambo mode, folding the mirrors and attempting to squeeze through this nearly impossible gap. You could probably make out my sigh of disappointment there. Although we didn't put the pedestrian at risk at all, I do not think this was the right choice, and it made a very awkward situation, which forced me to do a slow reverse of shame to let him through. Sorry about that, man. Doing something amazing and then right after doing something a bit boneheaded is a pretty common theme I've seen with this version of the beta. It does some really impressive things and behaves safer than a lot of human drivers, like treating this stoplight that's not working like a stop sign, just like you're supposed to do, and you can see the other driver completely ignore, which is great. But then it slows down halfway through the intersection and makes it feel a lot less impressive. Overall though, I must say this version does do a good job in some tricky situations and it often surprises me on just how well it's able to get through them. It's starting to feel less robotic and more human. Just look at this unexpected merge with traffic around. Doesn't slow down at all and does an excellent job of maintaining speed and not freaking out about the truck behind us following closely. Even a little flick of the turn signal if you caught that. Very polite. Also does a great job of giving vulnerable road users like bicycles plenty of room to feel safe and comfortable. I've gotten comments on my other videos from cyclists that appreciate this very much. The beta is also pretty patient. I mean, not all the time, obviously, as we've seen from some previous clips, but it does a good job of analyzing the situation and only proceeding when it's safe to do so. Other human drivers may have taken the ride away here, but I'm glad the beta stayed patient and waited for a really good opportunity to proceed. Here's another clip where the patience was required, and this is probably something that would have frustrated me uh, driving myself. A car is pulled off onto the side of the road and is pretty much completely blocking this intersection. He jumps the curb to get out of our way, which is fine, and the beta thinks it's now safe to proceed, and then as soon as we make our move, he pulls right out onto the road again. Ugh, come on, man. Nice job from the beta reacting pretty quickly, though, and not causing an awkward situation. And speaking of awkward situations, we're going to take a look at another one of those clips. Here you can see the beta doing a pretty nice job of getting through this narrow road and dealing with some oncoming traffic pretty smoothly. I like that it's slowing to be safe, but not coming to a full stop and still feeling confident enough to keep momentum the entire time. And as you know, after doing something well, the beta has to neutralize it by doing something boneheaded, so it stops near the middle of the road in this intersection, which does upset the other driver. Uh, kind of understandable. This was the only honk during the entire drive though, so an improvement over some previous versions, I suppose. Although it's easy to make fun of the beta for some stuff like this, there's no other cars attempting self-driving on these kinds of difficult roads, and it's getting through most of these situations completely by itself. 
so some credit where it's due. It doesn't get through all of them on its own though, even when it's possible to do so. Here we have some construction going on, which forces us into a pretty small gap. We also have another oncoming driver waiting for us. It displays a message saying it's folding the mirrors and gonna try to fit through it, but gives up halfway through and gets stuck. Nice try, but couldn't quite make it. Um, kinda makes me wonder why it didn't think this one was possible and thought that earlier clip was. Gonna go ahead and let this entire clip play out, cause there is another spot up here where the beta had a little bit of trouble and needed assistance to get through. It does a good job of spotting these pedestrians really early on and proceeding very cautiously around them. This felt very comfortable and natural. After that though, the road does get a bit tighter and more confusing. If you keep your eye on the path planner, you can see it jitter back and forth between going left and right for some period of time before it pretty much just gives up completely and comes to a full stop here. I did try to wiggle the steering wheel a bit back and forth um, and tried to use the cruise control stock um, to continue, but it wouldn't budge and I ended up needing to override the accelerator here to force it to continue. After doing that though, it did figure it out. It honestly is pretty astonishing that it's attempting to drive through these really narrow kinds of roads at all though, especially when other self-driving players that are using LiDAR mapped routes have geofenced areas and are completely unwilling to even attempt the hard stuff. FSD Beta is very much a hold my beer and let me try this kind of a system, and it's making huge strides to becoming a fully autonomous system that can drive anywhere just by looking out into the world and then making decisions on what it should do, just like humans do, instead of relying on a pre-planned route like an NPC from Grand Theft Auto. There's a lot of long drives like this one where the car just continues to drive and handle it all by itself for some really long periods of time through what I consider some of the most uncomfortable driving areas in the Bay Area. And I know I've been focusing on the negative aspects of the beta in this video, but when you look at what this is in the big picture, it's truly unbelievable that this kind of technology is not only here, but able to be used and tested by the public uh, so that it can continually get better and better. This clip does a good job of showing just how much better it's already getting. It understands there's no room and gives the right of way to the cyclist and car here. Then as another cyclist is still approaching, it makes a conscious decision to go into the oncoming lane while still giving plenty of room to the cyclist, and it's pretty much exactly how a good human driver would drive. I can guarantee that no one around would have ever guessed there was a robot behind the wheel of this car. And in my opinion, that clip in particular shows a lot of advancements in its decision making. It works until it doesn't though, and does require some help like in this situation where there's no choice but to back up, which is a move that the beta is just not equipped to handle yet. I'm gonna let this last clip play out ASMR style and have a real conversation with you guys. I need to tell you that I am truly sorry that I haven't been uploading as much recently. In the last few months, I've been dealing with a huge amount of stress and anxiety and have not felt like myself. I've recorded many awesome drives that I have every intention on making a video about, but every time I get in front of the microphone, it felt forced and I didn't feel like the person that you subscribe to. And if you've gotten this far into the video, you better be a subscriber. All jokes aside though, um, I have been having a very difficult time balancing some personal issues that have happened in my life recently, along with work, which has pushed my mental sanity off of a cliff. I am actively working on getting myself back together though, and I'm making some changes in my life to get myself back on the right track, but it has been a struggle. I'm really lucky to have such a supportive fan base like you guys, leaving me comments, sometimes even months after I release a video, asking where I'm at, if I'm okay, and giving me encouragement to upload, even if something isn't perfect. I truly do appreciate it and read every single one of your comments, and I really do enjoy making and editing these videos. I'm also very lucky to have an extremely supportive wife who couldn't care less about how much money I bring in or anything else. Her only concern is my mental sanity and constantly encourages me to find a path where I can enjoy myself and do what I love. So whatever changes in my life I have to do in order to spend more time doing this, I'm gonna do it because I really do love it. 
maybe I can turn this channel into something bigger eventually and spread out to more topics uh, about AI beyond just Tesla. That would be the dream, I think, to spend more time doing the things I love to do and spend less time in the soul-crushing commute. Anyways, thank you again for all of your support. I'll talk to you guys again when I upload the next video, probably like five, six months from now. No, just kidding. <laughs> I love you guys. Please leave feedback in the comments if you like this style of video more than my previous ones, or if you prefer this more. All of your input's extremely appreciated. And if you're watching this video on Sunday, don't forget to call your mom. <laughs> Thanks again for watching, you guys. Until next time.